On the way over here, or before I headed over here, I saw a music video with The Weeknd, and you made a little cameo. How did how did that come about? That's so crazy. We became friends. Just uh, walk right through, buddy. Yeah, right. Uh, hilarious. It's his world. It's his world. It's all right. Yep. He's got to get some pictures taken. Uh, you know, when I met The Weeknd, uh, the Safety brothers, who are wonderful yeah. filmmakers, they, they introduced us over the phone, and uh, Abel told me that he was a fan of The Mask, that that's the first movie he ever saw, and that uh, inspired him to be in show business when he was a kid. So that was kind of a thrill, and I went and we, we hung out, and we drove around in the car, and he played me the entire album of After Hours before I came out and everything, and we were just, I was just in heaven. And... Uh, and now I get to do this thing with him, and he, he allowed me, which was amazing. So somebody who's inspired by me allows me to be able to say some things that I would never be able to say yeah. on his album, you know, and it was a really a wonderful opportunity. And then I did the video, and I realized in the middle of it, oh, wow, I'm now putting the mask on you. Yes. Tag, you're it. Yes. <laughs> I heard you guys were neighbors, by the way. Were you neighbors? We were neighbors, yes, we were neighbors. So but who saw who in their bathrobe is my question. Ah, right? No, we weren't watching that closely. But we did see each other through binoculars and telescopes. And that was quite, that was quite okay, something. Um, congratulations on this movie. It's now a franchise. I mean, what do you think has made it so successful and happy to watch? I think there's something beautiful about Sonic. I think Sonic is kind of like this preteen innocence, you know, that he's amazed with the world and he's just playing with playing with form, which is what I try to do, you know. And uh, and Robotnik is the contrast, you know. He's everyone who's been affected. By the way, don't touch that. It's a time machine. So if you want to want to get to the end of the interview. You don't. Before 2020 ever happened. You don't want to go there. You don't want to see the future. No, I don't. No, I don't. Uh, one more question. I heard something. I heard something that's like breaking my heart right now. Are you getting out of the game? Are you retiring? What's going on? Yeah, I'm gonna watch some uh, mystery science theater reruns. About 25 years of them I missed, and uh, you know, I'm gonna be uh, striving to be unexceptional. That's what I'm trying to do. You know, because uh, I'm tired, frankly. Right? No, I'm not. I'm not tired, but I, but I do. I'd be tired of it. Yeah, I honestly, uh, I honestly feel like I'm kind of excited about the idea of, uh, you know, really kind of getting into my art and uh, throwing yeah. some paint on a canvas, and I'll be putting them on NFTs and uh, doing all kinds of experiments with that, and that'll come out. So it'll be a kind of a subtler form of myself. My avatar will change, but uh, I'll still be there a little bit. Can you explain to me in, in one sentence what an NFT is? Non-fungible uh, <laughs> trinket. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it. yeah. it's going to be fun. Yeah, I'm going to announce it on Twitter soon, go, where it will it. be and how you can get them. Well, I'll be the first buy buyer. Buyer, do you yeah. buy NFTs? Do you trade uh, yeah. NFTs? You, you oh, buy them. Okay. Well, you buy a code. You buy a code. Okay. You can Thank have the code if you really like it. Fantastic. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.